Good morning, everybody. Here we are. Praise the Lord. If I can get to the screen, I'll get the revival picture off here. Praise the Lord. There we are. So good morning, everybody. We have a very special guest with us this morning, all the way from wherever you came from yesterday. <laughs> Well, home is South Carolina. Yes, so. South Carolina, but you drove in from Kansas yesterday, Kansas. right? Yes. So, uh, and so we're so excited about that. And uh, it's, it's, you know, I don't think he was real thrilled about getting up and being here at 630 this morning, but he said, you do this every day? I said, yes. You have people that come every day? I said, yes. Yep. That's what he said. So it's a, it's, it's a good day. I've got, I'll, I'll see sister rachel's over there so you can you can wave this morning and uh, praise the lord we have one camera that we didn't get connected but but we are here and we are live we are excited about tonight so don't forget tonight at 6 30 and it's going to be a great time and we can't wait to see what all god is going to do and i know that oh whoops my Sorry, turn my volume down. So just jumping on. We're so professional. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> so we're just jumping on Facebook. So like and share this morning. And uh, glory to God. I had several people ask me, Brother Charles, do you think he'll be there? you think he'll be with us in the morning? I said, I don't know. I was thinking to myself, well... <laughs> I don't know. And, uh, and Chris even said, he said, oh, if Charles is going to be there, I'll have to get up early and come in. I said, well, he, he might be, but I, I didn't want, I thought, you know, as soon as you get up early and get here. <laughs> but, it's a shot in the dark, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Or something, but praise the Lord. So this is, this is a great day. And, you know, normally we, 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 I'm sure we'll talk about scripture in a minute, but uh, I wanted Brother Charles to just update us and share with us, and uh, what an opportunity to have you here. Just let us know what's what you're feeling for this weekend, what's been going on in Uganda or your ministry. I mean, there's so many things that I know you need to update us on, uh, or things if you want us to pray a specific direction or whatever. So this is... I'm telling you, we got an awesome group on Facebook. We're already up to 15 this morning. Do I have a few more jump on? But um, these folks pray, and so Amen. we uh, we're excited about what God's doing. So just just share with us what what you'd like to. <clears throat> oh my! Well, there's so much to tell. Actually, <laughs> you know, um, I've just got back. Um, I've been to Uganda four times since I was here last, and um, so we just. Wow. Um, and that's four times since November. Then. Yeah. No, since February. Oh, since February yeah. last oh, four, year. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So you were with. So okay, um, I'm sorry. Say, wow. I knew you've been hopping. I didn't. But yeah, because I was here Super Bowl weekend last year. Yes. You know, if you remember. So. Um, huh. uh, the first Super Bowl I've watched, and I don't know when. Yeah. So I, that's one of the first things I said last night was, uh, "Can we watch the Super Bowl on this television?" You know, and one of the reasons that that I'm I'm really kind of want to watch this year is because um, uh, one of my grandsons, Noah, is uh, a huge Kansas City mm. Chiefs fan, and um, uh, I have some really good friends that are relatives of the quarterback, um, Patrick Mahomes, and so, uh, you know, that. but that's neither here nor there. Um, let's talk about Uganda. <laughs> so, um, we actually just got back uh, about less than two weeks ago. Yeah. And um, we hosted Eddie James. I don't know if you guys know who Eddie James is, yes, but yes. Um, we had Eddie James and his team in Uganda. And uh, so it was just incredible. There were literally, um, for, for instance, uh, you've never been to our village. Our village is in northern Uganda. And um, it is... Uh, it's just close to South Sudan where a lot of the wars and stuff have taken wow. place. And so um, there's the, the, the town that's closest to our village, which it's still an hour and a half away, is Gulu. And um, so I wanted to, um, I've just now started connecting with pastors in Gulu. Uh, after being there for five years, I've really just started connecting with some of the pastors. And so we wanted to host Eddie James in an outdoor event. That's so cool. Um, there, and so um, we we actually brought all the pastors together, 
uh, there's about 85 of the pastors that all came together and wow. I've been kind of talking to them over the last six or eight months about doing this and um, so we, we hit a couple of snags um, as always and our advertising didn't get out until 10 days before oh, no. the event because the president of Uganda um, had locked up the field where we were going to be. Wow. And so um, we were not able to um, have, know for sure that we could have it until 10 days prior. Um, wow. So the, the day of the event, um, that day I took Eddie and his team up to our village and we had taught our, our kids, you know, we're now up to 360 oh, students wow. in our school. Wow. And so we had taught all of our students a couple of Eddie James's songs. <laughs> One of them is Freedom. Yes. You know, I'm going to dance a little louder yes. than before. Yes. You know, so, uh, so they were all excited about that. So, um, and then that evening, you know, we did the event down there in Gulu. And I asked the pastors um, the night before, I said, so... Let's estimate what the crowd size will be. <laughs> and uh, the pastors all concurred. They said, we'll have, you know, probably 2,000 since it was so late. And they asked me what I thought. And I said, well, I'm, I'm believing for 5,000. Oh, wow. You know? wow. And we had well over 10,000 that showed up. <laughs> um, and that was the With first time. With hardly any notice. Yeah, all, only 10 days. And nobody knew who Eddie James was. Really? He had oh, never wow. been there. He had wow. been in Uganda. Uh, in Kampala 10 years ago wow. um, just at one church so nobody even knew who he was and I found out the night before that doing a one night open air concert has never been done in Uganda wow. this, this was the first event wow. so for over 10,000 people to show up uh, was just incredible of That's course awesome. I've got a lot of pictures that I'll be showing this week this weekend about all of that um, and uh, so we literally, and, and I mean literally, literally um, had thousands of people give their hearts to Christ here. Right. Um, the next right. night, uh, we were back in Kampala. So we drove six hours to get back to the next service for the next night um, in a church called Fenero. And, um, and so uh, they, Eddie had never been there. And it was another, it was a, a, an open field and the pastor put out 15,000 chairs <laughs> and it was standing room only um, wow. by the time the concert, you know, then, and, and the service started. And then um, the next night, uh, two hours prior um, to uh, the service starting, there was no seats left, no standing wow. room left. It was just there, they couldn't accommodate any more people. Um, the next night was the same way, um, and then on Sunday morning, uh, we we were in a church called the Miracle Center. Wow, I like and, that. And um, they're they're in their seventy days of revival right now. When you walk in there, um, they have five services on Sunday, and wow. over ten thousand people attend each service. Wow. And so uh, I watched the exchange happen. And uh, man, there was there there was ten thousand people outside waiting to get in. Ten thousand people inside that didn't want to leave. Wow! Um, because the presence of God was so strong. Wow! And uh, the pastor just finally had to say, "You you people have to leave so the other people can get in here." Wow! And um, that just goes on and on and on. And literally, um, you know, just thousands um, before Eddie got there, and you and I were talking about this last night. Um, I, I was at a church there in Kampala, um, and uh, I, I preached the 8:30 service. We were, and when I sat down after the 8:30 service um, was was concluding, the Holy Spirit spoke to me, mm -hmm. and He said, "I'm going to do show signs, wonders, and miracles in the next service." Wow. And so the next service started at at. Uh, well, it was supposed to start at 10.30, but we didn't get out until about 10.30, so I think we got started about 11, and um, and I didn't even get to, I, I didn't open my Bible or anything because the glory of the Lord came so Thank strong. You, I mean, so strong, and there were literally hundreds. I, I, I lost count after about 300 people that, that received a miracle. Um, several people I had just there was one lady in particular um, and I even put her uh, 
on video, you yes. know, that morning and, and showed it on Facebook. And she the glory been, of the Lord was all over yeah. her. Oh, man. I mean, still, it, it was, it was crazy. Yeah. As a matter of fact, she she couldn't even get out of her seat. Oh, wow. You know, when 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 she received her miracle, now she had been in an automobile accident and had some kind of a brain injury. Wow. And um, she had was not able to have any facial expressions. Wow. She could not move her eyes. Wow. She couldn't close her eyes. Her eyelids would not move or anything. And she was sitting about two rows behind where I was sitting. And I'm telling you, when the glory of God hit that hit that place, oh. you know, I, I'm telling you, it was it was pandemonium in wow. there. There was some there were miracles taking place oh. before. I, I, well, I never even got to lay hands. You know me; I'm I'm like a hands-on type of guy. I love to pray with everybody, but there was but so you can't that many people. There's oh, no, no, there's no, no there was there was, and I'm learning that. Yeah. You know, if there's ten thousand people yeah. in that want prayer, I'm I'm ready to lay my hands on ten thousand yeah. people. But when you're one person, yes, sir. you know, and they've been teaching me, look, you can't do that. You just have to just pray. So, uh, man, the glory of God hit the place. And I mean, the people uh, as far back as you could see, I mean, because wow. this is a huge church. I mean, people were just screaming mm -hmm. because they had received their miracle. Wow. And um, so when I finally got the pastor, pastor and I got on the platform, um, he said, just call for those that have received miracles. And, wow. and hundreds of people ran to the front um, because they had received their miracle. And um, I mean, it was it was crazy, you know, so leading up to um, being here in Clarendon, uh, you know, for the last last several days, you know, the Lord's really been speaking to me that now is the time because we there, there are several of our team and Eddie, Eddie James and I were talking about this, um, you know, in all of our travels, he said, Bishop, when do you think, you know, we're going to start seeing these things in the United States? I said, well, I said, I believe God is stretching our faith yes. and, and allowing us to go to other nations to see that because mm -hmm. we're carrying some of that expectancy back Amen. to the yes. U.S., yes. Um, you know, so that we can start seeing manifestations. And I'm talking, I, I mean, Pastor Rachel, manifestations of the power of God. Yes where where we were sitting in a setting like this and all of a sudden the glory of God just Come settles on. in the house. Come on, you know? yes, yes. Uh, Tommy yes. Combs talks about, you yeah. know, that the mist, that blue mist. Yes. And I talked to him the other day and he said, Charles, you're going to start seeing that, a lot of that, yes. where, the, where the blue mist of, of the glory of God yes. just, just comes into, you know, into the house, you know. And, I mean... Listen, God doesn't need me. Come he doesn't on. need Come you. Doesn't right. need Pastor Rachel. That's right. That's right. That's right. I mean, because He is He's the one. That's it. We're That's not it. the healers. That's it. You know, Amen. we're the conduit. You know that that He uses, but we're we're not. We don't have anything to do. And That's I right. I That's I right. I believe if I if I could put it in a nutshell, here's what I think. <laughs> I think that um, tonight, tomorrow night, Sunday. I think what will will wind up doing is just being the MC Come on. for the Holy Ghost Come on. to do yes. what, he, what he wants to do. The MC for yeah. the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I love we'll, it. I love we'll, it. We'll just, you know, we'll see what, what he's doing. That's it. Um, you know, That's and it. uh, I, it's, I'm, I'm tired of yes. not seeing um, the things because I, I see them and I'm, but I'm tired of going out of my own country, you know, to see um, that level. To see that level of faith and that level of expectancy. Come on. You know, Come on. that the people, these people, that I guess one of the key issues is that they're not inoculated with religion. Amen. You know, like so many in the church today are. Yeah. You know, we're just inoculated with religion. Well, you know, if someone doesn't receive their healing... Well, I guess that wasn't God's will. That's not true. That's right. You know, <clears throat> that's not. I mean, that's not true. And um, but but so we find ourselves making excuses that's for God. Come on now. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. God doesn't need you to make an excuse for Him. Come on. You know, His word. Yes. I mean, is forever more settled yes. in heaven. Yes. yes. You know, and and in Psalms it says He sent the word and healed yes. them. Yes. Who are the them? We are. That's it. 
He sent the word and healed them and delivered them from all, all. of their all, everything, mm -hmm. you know. So, listen, we're not going to make excuses for God this Come weekend. On. Come on. You know, I mean, we're just not going to. Amen. And and the manifest, as, manif manifest presence of God That's it. is just going to settle. Come you on. know, matter of fact, it's all it's come already on. here. The yes, glory is yes, already yes, in the house. Yes, yes, you know, yes, yes. and we just have to come. You know, Pastor Parsley in Columbus. Um, you know, I grew up hearing this saying that expectancy is the breeding ground for miracles. Amen. So Amen. if you come expecting, and I don't care what it is, and you you and I have been talking about, um, you know, some individuals that have. Um, are walking through some sickness right now from this area um and you know i'm ex I, i've already come in expect come on you know that we're going to see manifestations yes. of the presence of god we're going to see salvations yes sir yes, you know sir. we're going to see people baptized in the yes. holy spirit we're going to see signs wonders and and miracles yes sir you know that are unexplainable you know we don't need to try to explain them that's it all we need to do is say uh, that's just the guy we serve. You know, I, I tell everybody that's just my boss. Yeah. You know, he just walked in the room and this is, this is what he's doing. And so, um, you know, that's, that's, awesome. that's kind of the update of, of our last trip, um, you know, over there. It's just been incredible. But here we are in Clarendon, Texas. You know, what I love about that, you know, what, what began over there. It didn't end, you know. You're oh, no. that's still going on there, and you're bringing a huge part of that with you. Oh yeah, you know that's what's so awesome. Yes, sir. And yeah. you're like this. I was talking to somebody um, one day this week, and they said, you know, when Brother Charles was here last time, and I don't know if you remember, you one night you taught on the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and you were just, I mean, it was powerful. And um, this person, they're you know, they're new to Pentecost. <laughs> And so they said, I, he's, I, I, don't, I didn't know how to wrap my mind around that. But he said, you know, I've been going back to when Brother Charles was here last time. And I was thinking about all that he said. And he said, you know what, I've been studying that. And I think I need that. I think I'm ready for that. And I'm yes, like, sir. you know, is, if that's not revival. Oh, man, I'm telling you. What he is. Yep. I mean, and you think, well, you know, sometimes we, we teach like that or we present like that. And we think, right. okay, why am I hitting this one subject for an hour or whatever, right. but there's a reason because God's setting something up in somebody, getting that expectancy to build up there, and I thought, you know, praise God. Well, I don't know if you remember this or not, which I'm sure you remember Bolivia. <laughs> right, Pastor Rachel? <laughs> no, I, I, what, Bolivia? What? Bolivia? What, 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 did we go there? Come on now, Bolivia. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> But that, that's the reason that they wanted us in Bolivia yeah, yeah. was because the Pentecostal church down there Come on. had a yearning for, for their people, their members, you know, to, to receive the baptism. Okay. And so that's one of the reasons they brought, they brought us, you, myself, and Ed down there. And I don't, if you remember, man, there were, there were hundreds of people that received the baptism. Um, in yeah. the Holy Spirit, and they they had never they they had never experienced that before. You know that was ten years ago. Yeah, ten was it really? Wow. Oh my gosh, ten years. ten years ago. Well, I can tell you right now, yeah. the church down there in Bolivia is moving forward, Amen. and they're having a lot of conferences. They're now teaching on how to receive um, the baptism. You know, and a lot of people ask about you know what is that? Well, you have to understand that God is the giver that's that it. keeps on giving you know <laughs> I love and uh, he's just i mean if you know when i when i get this next week i'll be in okc for a couple of days and i'll be with with our one of our youngest grandsons he's the second youngest nolan and um nolan will run up to me and he'll he'll say papa do you have something for me you know <laughs> well if we as God's he knows children, what the answer is. oh yeah, he already knows what the answer is. You know, um, if we as God's children would just get up in the lap of the Father, come on, oh yes, come yes. Know, what do you have just, for me? Yeah, just yes. sit down in His lap and say, "Can I have that gift?" Because that's what the Holy Ghost is. It's a, oh, he's a gift. You know, thank you. 
he's just and and he's he's waiting of course he's the third person of the yeah. triune godhead he's he's the the working side of god you know and actually i will be talking this week um about um the the um the mystery of the shadow mm. um oh. you know and um Praise there god. there was something that happened in that upper room that mm. the other night the lord woke me up about 1 30 and just started giving me revelation of some additional things that happened um, on on that day of Pentecost that you know that began to shake that literally shake um, the the church that was being yeah. formed. Yeah. And um, and and I'm telling you right now, if you don't have that gift, um, you need that gift. Yes, we do. I'm telling yes, you right now. Do. Yes. So anyway, I didn't mean to hijack. No, your, no, no. That's what I, I wanted your, because um, I knew that would yeah. I knew that would be. You know, we don't have to have those encouragements, but it's nice when, you know, we hear hear those reports. And sometimes we look at and thank God because we're going to see the major manifestations. And I hate to use that phrase. We're going to see healings and miracles. Oh, yeah. But my goodness, somebody coming to a revelation knowledge of I need more from God. Right. I need more of him. I mean, that's what greater <laughs> miracle right. and, and manifestation is that? Well, the greatest miracle, Pastor Rachel, is when we pass from death unto life. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I once was lost, but now uh -huh. I'm found. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. when we, that's the greatest miracle. Yeah. Come on. That we woke up a sinner that day, you know, and, and we lay down and we're born again. And, yes. and in yes. heaven, there is a party going on because another name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. That that is the greatest is. of yes, all sir. miracles. Yes, sir. You know. Yes, sir. Now we get hung up on. Well, I want to see arms grow and you know and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I am. The Lord spoke to me several months ago and told me that I was going to be going to Nepal. Wow. And I said, Oh, really? And I asked Regina. I said, Where's that at? She said, That's in the Himalayas. <laughs> and I'm like, Oh man, it's cold up there. You know. So, um, so then uh, Mike, Mike. That was at R2G, the 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 one pastor or, or the one evangelist guy. Yes, um, yes. He's that's where he prayed for that guy that had no arm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. And while he was praying for the guy, his arm grew out Praise in front God. of everybody. Praise you know. God. So he set me up to go there. But and and that's a great miracle. That's yeah. you know that's what we call a, a miracle. Yes. But but. Why, why do we say salvation is not a miracle? Right. That is the greatest. Absolutely. Of all miracles. Absolutely. And I've asked the Lord this year, and, and I mean it, and I might as well start, I mean, on, you know, on. might as well start right here. I've asked the Lord this year for 100,000 souls for Praise the kingdom God. this year. Amen. Gina and I, Amen. As, as we travel and, and you know, do, do all of our crusades and all that stuff, I've asked God for 100,000 souls this year. Amen. And and because, I, I'm listen, when, if God tarries... You know, and my time down here is over. Buddy, let me tell you, I want there to be a line of people so far that I cannot number them or see them that say somebody loved Jesus enough to come tell me about him. You know, it's like in our village over there in Uganda, you know, there, there, and there are several thousand in our village, but there were people in that village that ne had never heard the name of Jesus. And there was only 3% of those people that, that, were born again and now 99 percent of them are born again you know um because that's the driving force that's what drives that's us yes, you know yes. somebody's blind eyes that that open yeah that's all great and fine and all that but yeah. when somebody says i need thee that's oh it. i need that's thee it. you know and they they make that profession of their faith that they've accepted christ yes. we had a lot of that happen here we baptized yes. a whole yes. bunch of folks yes. in water yes. yeah Right there in that baptism, you know, because they had made commitments and they felt like, hey, I've got to get my life right, you know. So here I wasn't going to say anything. Remember, I told these guys last night, you know, when we were having dinner, I said, well, is there a lineup? And they said, no, we'll just get there and, you know, it, it'll happen. So what else you want to talk about? Uh, that's, that's awesome, brother. I'm awake now. Rachel gave me some coffee and I'm ready to go. Well, praise the Lord. Yes. <laughs> no, I just, I just, what, what has taken place is exactly what I was praying for, believe it, God, because I just wanted 
you know, people, a lot of times we don't have these moments where people can actually hear, you know, okay, what's the heart of the evangelist? What's really going on? in their ministry, what is it that they really want to say? What do they believe in God for? Because, you know, when we're in the middle of the service, it's you, you don't have time to right. communicate all of that, and it's hard, you know, like we know you, so we know what y'all are all about and what you do, but I thought, you know, this would be a great time for you to just, hey, this is what's going on, this is where we are. And, and, yeah. Well, the last thing that my dad told me, come on. Um, and because both of you, um, you know, he felt like, you guys were his kids as well, you know. Um, but the the last thing that that he told me in in my conversation with him was he said, "Just win souls." Yeah. Yes. You know, just win souls. Yes. And I mean, what else is there? Come on. Yeah. You know. Um, I was talking about Brother Walters the other day. I don't know if it was Sunday. It's been in the last two weeks, and I was telling him how before he left Paragould. And he couldn't get over to the church like he wanted to, right. you know. But he still, I mean, that heart to not only be in the church, which he wanted to be, and it wasn't so much, you know, he was sitting there, and it wasn't so much, I wish I could be in the pulpit, I wish I could preach, or I wish I could right. minister. I'll never forget what he's sitting there with tears rolling down his face. He said, I just want to get in the altar. Oh, yes. I'm like, you know, yes. that, that, that leaves a, a mark and an impression I'm thinking of here because how many years had he pastored at that point well 55 55 years yeah. and yeah. his heart's desire get in the altar. to get in the altar yes. and to just be in the presence Amen. of the Lord I, you know that's yeah. you don't forget that <laughs> no that's well that that's where it all happens yes. yeah come on yes. it doesn't happen with a, a person standing behind you know the pulpit sharing revelation I mean that's all fine and great you know that's all good and it stirs up things in the people but right here yes. where we're sitting this 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 is where it happens yes, yes you know yes. it happens here it happens outside the four walls that's of this it. building that's it you know because that's what god has called us to do get out there he said go out the yes. highways and the byways yes. get outside yes. of yes. a structured yes. setting yeah yeah Come and, on. and you you have to compel them Amen. you know and um, and I, I honestly believe this. And I've, I've talked to some other people, um, you know, uh, that have either been here or are coming. One of them, Denise Shaw, yeah. that um, who is a you know a, just an advocate yeah. of of yours and Pastor Rachel's, Regina's, and myself. Um, and we just, we really believe that God's up to something in yes, Clarendon. Yes, she, yes. yes. You know? and you know, she is uh, she is on prayer assignment. Oh, yeah. Mm. I know she's been praying much for this. Oh, yeah. I, she always prays for us. Oh, yes. But I know she's specifically praying into this meeting and this weekend. This, this weekend. Yeah, yes. I, it's not because it's Regina and I or you and Pastor Rachel, you know, the four of us. And we... We all flow great together, you know. God, God put us all together. It's, it's not about, it's not about us. I want you guys to understand right. that. Those That's of right. you that are watching um, this morning, and those of you that are in here, it's not about a personality. Amen. Right. But it is about a person. Come on, yes. come on. And I'm telling you right now, that person, you know, will, will definitely be here. Oh yes. And he'll be exalted. Yes. And yes. he'll be honored and glorified. Yes. And I'm telling you right now, then he'll start working. He, he it's it. it's his power that That's draws it. people to salvation. You know, it's that it's that that drawing force. And I'm just believing that people that are driving Come by on. out here on Seven, yes. Home, you know, or on that main yes. road out there, two eighty seven, two eighty seven, yeah. on their way to yes. down to Dallas, Fort Worth, yes. or wherever Come they're on. coming from. Listen, I and I when I. I've had this happen. Yeah, come on. People would be driving by and they'd turn around. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Come back, walk in the church. Yes. Say, I was just drawn here. Yeah. Yes. Well, we know what the drawing come force on, is. Come on. You know? And, um, and so it wasn't, we, they say, say, something made me stop here. Yeah. No, we, we know what that we something is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know what that something is all about. So, um, but I, I, I believe that, and I, and I know we're, at, we're a month in already. You know, into 2023, and I know incredible things have been happening here already. 
Um, but I, I, I believe that the next several days, you know, yes. is, is also going to be a catalyst. Yes. Um, yes. You know, not because it's it's the four of us right. and then Chris and Marianne are coming in. Oh. And, and um, you know, they're Share a little bit about today. them. Because this is very significant. We, I tried to explain it to people because, you know, I've talked about their ministry and their impact. But how this is significant that they're getting to come and how they're connected with you. But, I just thank God. It's yeah. a miracle. Um, yeah, it's just it's just crazy. Um, you know, I I believe, and a lot of people, and I I don't stop long enough to to define this when I'm ministering or I'm preaching, but I believe in Jesus junctions. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe that our lives cross with people's lives that are like this. Yes, yes. And years and years ago when I was a pastor, but now I've been delivered from that. You guys all know that. Right? Um I, I love pastors. Yeah, you know, I love I love pastors. And you you have great pastors right yes, here. We do. You know. Yes. Um but when I was pastoring, um the 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 guy in our denomination in the Church of God, he was my district overseer. And you know what that is. His name was Randy Bogus. And Randy and I became really, really good friends. He's a, a Vietnam vet, um, lost both of his legs in Vietnam, um, just a gr had, was a great mentor to me and to Regina, to both of us. And so we just became really good friends. And we've been friends for uh, 25 years probably now. And matter of fact, I talked to him driving over here. Uh, and come to find out, long story short, Chris is his cousin. Oh, how neat. You know? So I meet this guy from Oklahoma City who's cousins with a guy that's been a friend of mine for 25 years. And then God just kind of puts us together. But Chris um, and Mary Ann, uh, which um, I'm sure you guys all know, Mary Ann um, has been on all of the... Uh, big stages um, you know in America uh, literally as as a, a rock and roller um, she opened for the Bee Gees and all them guys back in the day and, and when before she got saved and then traveled with you know with Jimmy Swaggart for all those years and she's been on um, I don't know Everything. how many I, yeah. every, every every talk show Joni Lamb Marcus Lamb her 700 club incredible. yeah it's just incredible. it's just everywhere but she's and then, so humble one of the most oh. humble i'm telling you she's one of the most humble ladies yep they're 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 just amazing well, both of them they're both yeah. and all then true. to get to meet them and then you you guys i guess it was i don't, it might have been pastor rachel i don't know but one of you said to me do you think chris and mary ann would come you know i think you and i were talking about it on the phone and i said i i'll call them and um so sure enough, man, they're um, they're coming. I will probably have Chris talk about. He's a businessman. Um, blows uh, incredible. He's a glass blower. Extraordinary. Um, yeah. I mean, just and he has um, one piece that um, called a Redento Raffinado, and I'm sure he'll bring one with him um, to show everybody what it is but it's 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 made out of all the glass that was left over all the discarded glass all the glass that they would throw away and um, Rodney Howard Brown actually has three of them in his pulpit he has ten all together wow. but he has three of them in his pulpit and and um, so uh, Chris actually um, is is the one that that schooled me on on the glory hole, um, that furnace that's that's in his shop, um, where all the the miracle takes place in that in that furnace, and then in his hands how he fashions that thing. There's nothing uh, like watching him. Oh, at I, his studio, it is the most. Yep. Yeah. Have you seen him? Have you she seen him blow? To oh, I'm, I'm it's, telling it's, you right now. Oh my. Goodness. Regina, you know he did a piece for <laughs> Regina for her birthday. Yes. And um, absolutely uh, beautiful, you know. So he invited us over there to watch him create this masterpiece. Um, and actually, uh, you know, um, he just did one for Barbara Streisand. Wow. Um, he just did hers. Um, I've got pictures of of the one in Mar Largo. 
um, with President Trump, and um, he did his. He's done, you know. Anyway, to to, and the main focus is to take the discarded stuff. Come on, you know. And we, you know, we always the the people that are are hurting and wounded, you know, the people that yeah. nobody else wants. Come on. That you know the church is discarded. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now. Come on, Jesus came for the least of these. Yes, yes, yes. 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 You hear me? Yes. He he didn't he didn't just come for the Jasons and the Charleses. Amen. He came for the mom yeah. um, who put her kids to bed in Clarendon last night hungry. Yeah. Yeah. The the single mom, the dad that today is thinking about committing suicide because he doesn't have enough money to take care of his family. We have to reach those people. Yes, yes. You know, we, we have to, because if it was not for the grace of God, it could have been any of us that are in this room. That's right. You know, and so when Chris was explaining to me about the, the brokenness, and I think that's one of the amazing things that he talks about. Oh, yeah. That, Mary, that drives Mary Ann, you know, that, that people that were hurting, people that were broken, people that whose lives were literally have been shattered. Yeah, in pieces. You know, and there's nothing, there's nothing left. How do we, you know, I mean, there was, there's a song, old song that says, heartache, broken pieces, ruined lives is why he died on Calvary. Brokenness. I mean, we've all been there. Yeah, yeah. And to know that God can take something beauty for ashes yes. and just make something beautiful and I matter of fact I, they haven't left yet so when I leave here um, today to go back um, to where we're staying I'll call Chris and say you make sure that you bring some broken pieces I'm sure he's, um, uh, yeah. and and bring a, a, a redento um, you know with you so we can put it on display um, of what literally God does for us Come he on. did it for me yes yes yes, yes. yes. you know even as a PK, he did it for me. And I want you to know, if you're out there today, right now, watching, or maybe watching later on, if you're broken, come on, um, and you're, you know, and your back's just against the wall, and we don't know what to do, I want you to know something. Jesus died for you. He died that you could have life. Wow, man, I'm down. I'm getting hit with the glory up here. He died that we could have life and have it more abundantly yes. Yes. you know he didn't just come for that he died for that yes. so if you're out there watching um today or watching at a, at a later date and you know and you're just you're, you're just wondering what to do that let me tell you all you have to do is just whisper the name of jesus yes. Yes. and just say i i just need you you know just just come into my heart and be my lord and savior and and just accept the gift That's of it. salvation. That's it. You know? Well, what do I have to change? You don't have to change. He's going to change you. Yes. Yes. It's not That's my job not. to change you. You know? It's not it's not it's not any human's job to change you. He'll get on the inside of you and then all of a sudden change begins to happen oh, from Lord. the inside out. Amen. You know? And um Lord and people God. say, Well, I don't know how that happens. Yeah. I, I can tell you right now. What can wash away my Come sins? On. Nothing but the blood Ooh, of it. Jesus. It. It's the blood of Jesus. Yes. And just accepting him, I need you. Yes. You know? And I know we're a bunch of saved folks in here. Hallelujah. But, we need but I'm it. telling you right now, there's hardly not a day goes by that I don't revisit Calvary. Come on. Amen. Come on. And say, I need you. Yes. You know? Oh, yes. Oh, well, you go all over the world. Yeah. But I, that doesn't matter. I have to have him. Yes. yes. You know, I, I have to have that personal relationship. And I want you to know, you have to have that personal relationship. So if you don't know him, come on, right come where on. you're at, just say, Jesus, just come into my heart. Thank be my you. Lord and Savior. And then find you a good Bible-believing church Amen. that preaches yes. and teaches the truth of this book right here. Amen. This book right here. The word of God. Yes, yes. You know, you, David said, thy word have I hid. I've deposited in my heart that I might not yes, sin Lord. against you. So get the word in you. 
Start in the book of John. That's yeah, what I don't tell on. people. Come on. That's the easiest to understand. Just get in the book of John and start reading it. And if you don't understand it, do what I do. Go back and read it again. That's right. That's you right. You know? And then if I still don't understand it, I go back and read it again. Yes. You know? I've been saved over 40 some years and I'm still learning. Yes. You know, things that, that are in the word. So uh, get saved. You know? And if you want somebody to pray with you, um, get a hold of, of Pastor Jason, Pastor Rachel, um, get a hold of Regina and, or myself. And, um, and you know, matter of fact, my phone number is listed on Facebook. Call me up, Charles Walters. It's listed on there, 864-238-6719. And I'll, I'll pray with you on the phone. Amen. And um, because you, that's the thing that drives us. Yes, come on. I mean, that's that's why we keep doing what we're doing yes. is is because we want to see the kingdom expanded. Yes. Well, here I went off no, on another tangent here. No, that's beautiful. Would you just lead, lead us in prayer? Just pray over that. Pray for the people. And that's, that's perfect. That's well, I just want you to know today that there's nothing that he can't do. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You know, we, we used to sing an old song and I, yeah, people say, well, why do you refer to them? Because that's what I grew up on. You know, yeah. there's nothing. Yes. No, no, nothing. There's nothing that my God can't do. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's nothing that he can't do. Ooh. He is waiting to do everything. Come on. Yes. You know, that I don't remember who's wrote the song he was there all the time yeah. he was there all the time waiting patiently in line yes. listen there's nothing that he can't do for you and right where you are if you need a healing in your body yes. you know he's the healer thank you Lord. you know I'm the God that healeth yes me. you know I mean I that, that that's the God we serve right right here you know we're in this room in this setting with with a great cloud of witnesses out yes. there you yes. know yes. And um, and so if you need healing in your body, he's the healer. If you need salvation, yes. he is salvation. Yes, mm -hmm. the only you know? salvation. Yeah. And um, and so, you know, right where you are, whatever you need from the Lord, you know, just do what, what I do. You know, I, I, I am uh, walking through a little situation right now. And... Um, that both of you know about. And so um, every day, man, I just say, Lord, I just thank you. Yes. I've got friends in ministry that are walking through things yes. right now physically. Yes. And um, so we're, we're, we're just thanking the Lord. That's we're it. grabbing. We, we have laid hold to the, to the promises of God you, that are yea and amen, right? Yes. And so that's all you have to do. And so, Praise you know, God. right now, let's just pray and we'll, we'll just ask, ask the Father. Father, I, I just reach out yes. right now in the name of Jesus. Thank we release our faith. Yes, Father, not Thank only the three of us that, that are on camera today, Pastor Jason, Pastor Rachel, and myself, along with, with this host of believers that are in this room. We release our faith right now. To go through Facebook, go through social media, go through yes. where, wherever you are right now. And we believe right now in the name of Jesus. Because one of the things about God is that God is omnipresent. Which means he's not limited nor confined to space. So right where you are right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, show yourself, Father, right now in Jesus' name. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that people that are watching this, that angels that are on assignment yes. right now will begin to just hover and re right. be released from Clarendon, Texas and go to where you are right now right. and that you'll see creative miracles. Yes. You'll see the greatest creative miracle of all, that salvation. All you have to do is say, Jesus, I need right. you and come into my heart right. and forgive me of all my sins and I'm going to serve you. And right now you're born again again in the name of Jesus you're born again if you need a miracle in your body just touch yeah. that place father right now in Jesus oh, name you sent the word and healed them you know yes. you sent the word and healed them and father I just thank you right yeah. now father according to Mark's gospel yes. that yes. we are the healed of the Lord that we're the healed. First Peter, Father, that you're the God that heals us. We thank you for that right now. 
in Jesus' mighty name. And I just thank you right now that manifest presence of God is being released not only in this sanctuary, not only in Clarendon, Texas, but it's being released across the airwaves in the name of Jesus. If you need to receive the baptism in the Holy Ghost right now, receive ye the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the infilling of the power of God in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it. And we give you honor for it. And we give you praise right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Christ. Amen. And, and also, whatever you've received, yeah. make sure, Come on, make sure it. that you let Pastor this Jason and Pastor Rachel know what God has done for you so they can continue to share in the broadcast. And um, if, you, if you're having trouble with the word, let me tell you, these guys right here know the book. You know, I know, I know one of their teachers, or actually two of the, who their teachers were, and it was my parents, and they know the word. Yes. And so, um, and I'm on here, try to get on a lot, and let me tell you, they can break the word down for us. Right. You know, and I'm telling you right now, you have to have the word of God yes, on the inside do. of you. Yes, we do. She got me all wound up Ooh, this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise now you know why we do this every day. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 Wow, what a treat this morning. Wow. Glory to God. Well, I don't even know what to say. That's just, I just thank God. You don't want to miss tonight. You don't want to miss tonight. Then, of course, tomorrow we have um, 6.30 in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, and 6.30 tomorrow night. Yeah. Right. It's going to remind you of being in Africa. Oh, man, I'm telling you right now. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, and, yeah, I, I went to a church. If I can get him to ever go, you guys need to really pray about your pastor needs to go to Uganda. I'm going to send him to Pastor Sebiala's church. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send you there. Or Pastor Peter's church, one of those. Because I no, did four. I did four morning services. Wow. I started at 730. Praise and I God. finished. I left the pulpit at 2 o'clock wow. in the Amen. afternoon. Praise God. Yeah, that, that's what we need. I need to do to you. Come on, Pastor Jason. <laughs> Listen. Amen. I, but I remember Bolivia. I know you do. <laughs> and I've got... I will be I will be wherever you are. Glory to God. Amen. Because yeah. what the problem happened is when we got separated. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now he sounds like Ed, doesn't he? Oh, come on, Jesus. Telling you. Glory oh, to God. my goodness. We lived and learned after that. Oh, yeah, we did. Pastor we Phyllis, did. you know, we know what to do when we go overseas. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, boy. Yep. Yeah, oh, you act, actually do. Well, we have to try to take care of ourselves. You yes. know, we don't so, always do the yes. best job. And you ate that dead chicken. It didn't oh, even affect no. you. Man. That's my favorite story from that trip. Charles is riding in the bus. The bus. In the bus. Oh, and Jesus. he's there's this bucket in the back. And it's got this dead chicken with the head laying off of oh. over the side. Flies are all over it. And Charles looks at that and he says, that's lunch. Yeah. I, well, I, I, there, there was a lady sitting there, and I said, I said, what, what is that dead chicken? She said, that's your lunch. And I'm like, oh, Lord. And, and you, if you, you've been out of the country, and so you, you have to understand the way they are, that if they put a plate of food in front of you, they are highly offended. Just like we don't eat. So... You're over there saying, If I eat any deadly thing, it will not hurt me. You know? um, because, let, let, and it's the same way in Uganda, man. Oh, yeah. So I have learned over the last 15 years that I've been going there what to eat and what not to eat. You know, and so I tell everybody, don't, don't eat that. You know, don't, don't, don't eat that. You know, and if they, if they don't listen, then they'll wind up in the bed for several days, Amen. you know. Um, but you, you just learn. So I've learned all the tricks now, Pastor. Right, so you, right. you, it, it's safe, Pastor Rachel. It's safe for him to go. Amen. But um, yeah, I just want to encourage you guys be be in prayer much. Yes. Um, yes. You know, no no services are the same. Praise you God. know, they're they're just they're just always different. And I I was um, you know last year I did something I never do. I returned a second time very soon. Wow. 
-hmm. And I never do that. Uh, that that's the first time in our ministry so you are doing those nevers yeah so much, there's such a now part of your regular i know operation jason and rachel houston man they're just they're just like i'm telling it, you it's just it's not but yeah i and i, I told the people i and I, I don't know if i've told you yet or not but i am convinced that every meeting and everything that you are a part of this year and not just, but it's, it's been building for quite, quite a while, but I know this year there's something so significant in your ministry that nothing will ever be the same again. Right. Mm. And so the level of expectancy and the level of outpouring of the glory of God, it's just on a whole new level. So this, I never do this. That's just the normal part of your ministry. Sure. That's all you, that's all you do. So you hear him, Pastor I'm Richard. telling you, and he oh keeps telling me, and he's just like, yeah. Now, Jason, but I'm telling you, this is, this, you know, you well, can write it down. It's happening. And you know, all of these things, you know, he keeps saying, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a pastor. I'm like, yeah, and God, God keeps sur surrounding him and God keeps elevating him. And now all of a sudden he's pastoring all of these pastors. Yeah. And he hates it when I say that. So I need to say it more often, <laughs> well, especially after some of the texts I received the past few weeks. Well, Lord, here, you know, the, the whole thing is that, you know, the, the ministry is under attack. Come on, yeah. come on. Absolutely. Pastors yes. are under attack. It, it's not like it was when I was pastoring. It's 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 much more difficult, yes. you know. Um, and so we have found ourselves, uh, Regina and I, spending more time encouraging pastors That's it. That's it. and just loving on them. And we we love we love pastors. Yes. You know, yes. I I'm a I'm a PK. That's a pastor's kid, yes. preacher's kid. That that's that's what I grew up. And, um, you know, our whole family are, are pastors. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my brother-in-law in Arkansas, my brother-in-law in, in North Carolina, my, my daughter and son-in-law in, in Oklahoma right. City, Regina's grandfather, you know, I mean, wow. my dad. I mean, yeah. we, we just yeah. grew up around all of that. And to see what the, this couple is called to under attack, yes. you know, yes. if, if, if we do nothing else, we're going to shore that up, Amen. you know, we're going to shore that up yes. because that, that's the foundation. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. if, if Clarendon has, has a sovereign move of God, it's yeah. going to be because yes. pastors yes. have yes. heard from heaven yes. Yes. and yes. we know how to, you know, strategically Ooh. guide that thing. That's right. And so, um, doing what we do. You know, it's, I mean, it's all fun up there and I have fun in church. You guys that have been around us and been in services with us, I'm, we, we will have fun. Oh yes. We yes. will laugh. We'll cry. We'll, I mean, we'll, we'll just have it all, you know? Um, but during the day, um, most people don't know the hours that Regina and I've spent with pastors and night. Yeah. yeah. And who are ready to throw, throw yeah. in the yes. towel, yeah. you know, I mean, just, we just, we're walking with a, with, with a, 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 now a widow lady, yes. um, whose husband was a pastor of a great church, um, in, yeah. in Indiana and, and he just passed away. And so now we are walking her through all of that, that process, um, you know, because he left a great church and they're now struggling to find out, you know, who the, their successor is going to be. And so we're, we're trying to walk her through all of that stuff and um, pastors are hurting, you know, they're hurting. So we love the ministry and I make fun of pastoring a lot, you know, I, I do. But when, the, when the, when the dust settles, they're, they're, as far as I'm concerned, they're the greatest people on this planet, you, you know, and um, our kids, Josh and Tiff there in Oklahoma City being being pastors we've we've walked we're still walking yeah. through yeah trials and tribulations yeah. with with our own kids um you know so uh if you're a pastor out there and you're hurting you need yeah. somebody to talk to Come you on. you just call Come on. you know if you get a hold of Jason Rachel Houston get a hold of Charles or Regina Walters um and yes you know listen our our doors always open um, and uh, because we love the ministry. Yes, sir. It's awesome. And we're going to have an awesome time this week. You yes. guys ready? Yes. I'm telling yes. you, we're going to have yes. an awesome time, you know. And uh, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I just, 
I just don't. Matter of fact, I did another first here. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see what the first this oh. weekend is going to be. Well, today's the first. Well, that's the yeah, come on. Get, <laughs> because I told the Lord this year, I said, I'm only doing Sundays this year. <laughs> <laughs> and when I first my first my first meetings in January, I only did Sundays, and here I am doing a, doing a Friday, Saturday, Sunday here in Clarendon, Texas. You know, another first. You know, because I, we've had all kind of pastors call us. We need you for three days, four days. We need you know several days. I'm only doing Sundays this year because I'm going to Uganda seven times this year. So wow. I'm trying to you know not wear Regina out, you know, too much, or myself for that matter. But um, here we are, Amen. another first, everybody, in Clarendon, Texas. Here we are doing a three-day meeting, and I have no idea, you know. I mean, I just have no idea. We're planning on Sunday being the last day, you know, but I... No. My name's Chuck, no. not God. No. You know, so uh, we have no idea. I mean, we just, we just. Yeah. My husband's coming home Monday. Oh, well. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Pastor he, Rachel. He is praying. He is praying. praying. So hard. He is praying. I've done all the talking. Pastor Rachel hasn't done any, any talking today. But I'm telling you right now, this lady. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Teacher yes, slash yes. preacher of Amen. the word, this lady Amen. right here. Yes, yes. And she yes. is a great encourager yes. to my wife. Oh, thank you. You know, a great encourager thank to Regina. Thank you, Father. You know, the other day it looked like she was writing a book. You know, we're driving along and I, you know, I do most of the driving and she's just texting. When I said, who in the world are you texting? She said, I'm texting Rachel, you know. And so I know that that um, I, I, if you are in this room, or if you're in this church or in this area, and you need somebody to connect with, that will pray. And I, I mean, not say, "Well, I'll pray for you, pat you yeah. on the back," but I mean, we'll get yes. bombard heaven, yes. touch heaven for you. Yes. This Amen. lady right here, yep. you know, she's done it for us yes. Yes. numerous times. And um, and I just while we're on here, thank you for um, yes. loving Regina, oh, and uh, yes. just just uh, you, you you don't know oh. you, you don't know the times that she's been walking through things and just out of the clear, Rachel. Oh, that that was Rachel, and just you know just her hearing from you yes. just always lifts her up and and uh, so thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's yep. an honor. We love you. We love you, Pastor Rachel. Man, we just um, she's just an incredible, not only uh, co-labor, but just an in incredible friend um, yes. to us. And um, and so is your pastor. Yes. You know, yes. encouragers. They they encourage us, Amen. keep us going. You know, keep praying for us, and we um, we're we are honored, we're, and I mean that. Yes. We're we're honored to be in Clarendon. Texas. Amen. It's a joy. Amen. It's a joy. Amen. Yep. So we Amen. just got to get, we've got to get them to Texas. Yes. So. Oh, we can't find your house. <laughs> <laughs> we can find your house. We love Texas. I know. You know and we, we've got a lake out there. We can get you a house on a lake yeah, out there. Yeah. yeah you I can know. be neighbors with, with, with Jack and them. So praise Yeah. Them. I can wet a hook out there. You me. sure can. Yes. 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 And 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 Jackie, well, I'll talk about that. Now. We'll tell you about the other 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 blessing. Y'all have to just you just have to not know. Well, that's a well, well that'll be an after the cameras are off story. But thank y'all so much for being with us this morning. What a great day! So remember, six thirty tonight. Let's see here. Let me pull the graphic back up here. So so there are pictures. There we go. Praise God. And uh, can't wait. To see everybody, I'm telling you, there's something explosive happens when all of God's people get together. Whew, we're going to have this. and expecting, oh, and we're expecting. Oh, yep, we are yes. expecting, and yes. I know God's going to bless us. So yes. bring yep. folks with you. Yeah, we'll be churching tonight. Now I'm telling you right real now, church, real we're, church. Listen, we're going to church tonight. No, no doubt about it. All right, y'all. Well, we love you so much. We appreciate you, and we will see you again yes. real soon. Yes.